everybody. Welcome back to another craft session with Miss Corey. I thought that for the month of December, it would be really fun to make ornaments, ornaments that you can make and share with your family for years to come. So in honor of our story, the broken ornament, we came up with some creative and fun ornaments that you and your children can make together. The first one is a Christmas tree that we made out of a doily. And the second one is this fun little snowman that we made out of a glass ball. If you can make your way down to our library at Her Memorial Library in Mifflinburg, you can pick up craft kits that will have all the materials you need to make these ornaments. If you can't make it into our library, that's okay too, because some most of these materials you should have at home, and if you don't have them, they're easily picked up at any craft supply store or major big box store like Walmart or Target. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're gonna work on is going to be our doily Christmas tree ornament. And these are really fun and really simple to make. The only things that you're going to need are going to be markers, glue, some ribbon for your tie. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need the doilies, of course. And here, what we have is a white doily. And I found a red doily left over from Valentine's Day. And then we made a green one, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And you're going to need a popsicle stick. And then I also chose some glitter glue, but you can decorate your tree any way you feel fit. We're gonna go ahead and move these supplies over here. Because I, if you haven't figured out by now, I'm a messy crafter. Okay, so the doilies that you're going to get in the library kit are going to be white. And um, these are really easy to change colors if you like. I decided that for the first one we're gonna make, we just left it white and decorated it like it was a white snow covered tree. But if you wanna make a green one, this is really simple to do too. We just took our water soluble markers and I colored it completely green. Now you can either just leave it colored with marker green, but if you want a softer light green, then get a bottle of water that you can spritz and mist and get it nice and wet. You're gonna to wanna to lay this on um, some wax paper so that you don't stain everything underneath it because the water will drain through the holes of the doily and then let it dry. And once it's dry, the colors will all have bled into this nice green colored tree. And here we have a section where you can see we did it with another one and the colors actually shaded here darker and then lighter and that was kind of cool too because on this one we sprayed water and then didn't try to mix it around. So you can play around with that and have a lot of fun experimenting on how you want your trees to look. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a tree with my green colored doily, just for something different. So what the first step you need to do is to fold your doily in half, and then you wanna fold it in half one more time so that you have a nice quarter shape. Then take your scissors and cut right along the fold lines, just like this. And then open your doily up and cut along the fold line one more time. So what you're gonna end up here is with four quarters of your doily. You can discard one of your quarters because you only need three of them to make your Christmas tree. Unless you wanna make four, but then it's a really tall tree. So now you want to take your quarters and you want to actually trim two of the three. You're going to want to trim this one by quite a bit. Actually, this one by a little bit, like so. Starting at the bottom and then bringing it up to the top point. And then this one, you want to try to make even a little bit smaller than that. So that your tree gradually goes from big to small. So you'd have this one, and then this one when you lay it out, and then this one on top. And now it kind of looks like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? So the next step you need to do then is to take your ribbon, and you need to have enough, about six inches or so, to create a loop. So you want to cut that. Millie, are you trying to help make a craft? You're not very helpful today. Come here, girl. Get down. Thank you. And then you're going to want to take your popsicle stick and your glue, and you simply want to put a little bit of glue at the top here. 
and secure your ribbon to it like this. And it's okay that it looks huge because you've got a lot of tree that's got to come up behind it. Just like this. And just press down and you can sing the alphabet song or count to, you know, 30 or whatever you like to do until you know that that's good and adhered on there. Your next option is then to take a brown marker and you can color the bottom of your popsicle stick. Make it look like an actual tree trunk. If you want to skip this step, you can and just leave it plain. That's fine too. You can color all the way up if you like. And there we are. Whoops. I was touching my ribbon and it came off with me. So we'll put a little bit more glue on here just to adhere that ribbon on there. Good. If you have a really firm ribbon, you may find that it's a little bit more stubborn. Um, more softer ribbons will adhere a little bit easier. Okay, so then we want to add glue to our popsicle stick right along the lines here. And we're going to put down our first layer, the biggest layer of your doily. And you want to lay it with the curved side down and the pointed side up. And you can decide how long or how short you want your tree to be. I kind of put mine kind of halfway down the middle like so. And then you're going to put another bit of layer of glue on here. And we're going to lay the next layer of our tree on top of that. And then one more time, a little bit more here, to put the top of our tree up like so. Now you see why you needed so much ribbon, so it can pop out at the top. And if you don't think your tree looks centered, you can always shift it around a little bit. This is why I like to use the regular school glue for this part of the craft instead of like a hot glue gun or even um, a glue stick, which won't adhere as well. So once you've let this dry really well, you can decorate it. And I use just markers to decorate mine. You can just use colored markers to make bulbs on your Christmas tree. And you can just run them along the bottom of the edges here like so. And color in little circles. You can pick whatever colors you like. And you can make a, a pattern. This is really good for teaching children about patterns and shapes and even about mixing colors if you want to do that project with this with them too and then I just put some dots on the top of the tree to simulate little ornaments that were up there and we can put yellow on here again the yellow as you see does not show up quite as well on the green as it did on the white but it still gives it a nice little contrast we could do um, a blue up here And then when you have all your ornaments on your tree as you like, then we decided to add some glitter to our tree to make it look like we had put um, some um, tinsel on our tree. And of course you need a star. And I prefer glitter glue because glitter makes such a mess. So we're gonna put a lot here at the top for the star. And then we're just going to come along here and we're gonna put some tinsel on as if the tree had been um, hung up and drawn with tinsel and just a nice easy smooth line now if you don't have glitter glue at home not to worry you can always use regular glue and then sprinkle glitter on top that does look amazing when it's all done it can be very messy though so make sure you're doing that prior to the project over a sheet of newspaper or drawing paper so that it's an easy cleanup for you when you're all finished and we're just coming along the edges here and a little bit down here so that our tree is nicely hung with some tinsel. There. Now we're just going to let this dry really, really, really well. And when it's completely dry, then we can hang it up onto the Christmas tree. Like so. Isn't that cute? So you can do a whole bunch of these in all kinds of different colors if you want. Um, doilies are relatively inexpensive and can be found at any dollar store. So that's how we do that one. We're going to set this off to one side now and let that dry. So the second ornament we're going to make tonight, today, 
is our snowman ball of ornament. Um, and he is a really cute and easy ornament to make. He is kind of messy. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a clean workspace available. To make our little snowman ball ornament, you're going to need a clear glass or plastic bulb. You can get these at, again, any big box store, Walmart, Target, etc., dollar stores, um, hobby stores, craft stores, Michael's Hobby Lobbies, they all have these. And this time of year, they all tend to be on sale. So you can probably get a bunch that way. You're also going to need some Chanel sticks. We chose some sparkly colored ones. You're going to need um, a hot glue gun because um, you can use regular glue or crafting glue, but you really have to hold it for a long time. So I really recommend that for this part of the craft that this is a parent or caregiver along with the child craft, that they can help with a lot of the things, but the actual putting things on the bulb is something that we need an adult to do because we don't want anybody to get burned. You're also going to need some pom-poms and coordinating colors. You're going to need some googly eyes, and you're going to need, last but not least, some orange construction paper and some black construction paper so that we can make a nose. There's our Chanel sticks that we're gonna to use today. You need the orange construction paper to make the nose, and you need the black construction paper so that you can make all the dots that you'll need for the smile. And we just use a simple hole punch to make all the dots here for our smile. So let's go on. Oh, and the last but not least, you also need fake snow or some kind of filler. If you don't have fake snow, you can also use cotton balls that are um, pulled really, really thin and put inside, or you can put shredded white paper in there, whatever you would like to use. But for our, our classes or for our projects that we're sending home, we are using fake snow. So first things first is we have to fill our ornament ball. And this is the really messy part. Your little kids will enjoy this part the most. You want to pop the top of the ball out so that we have an opening. And then you're going to need a funnel. And um, not all the funnels will be exactly able to fit in there, but you can make it work. And then I also recommend that you have another popsicle stick so we can push down inside all of the fake snow. And this does make a tremendous mess, so be prepared for that. We actually have a cotton ball that fell in there. So we're going to take that out. And we have a few cotton balls in my fake snow thing. All right, there's another one. Look at that. Lots of cotton balls. And it, this stuff gets everywhere. It's a little bit like glitter, only not quite as annoying. This stuff is a little bit easier to pick up than glitter. You won't find it everywhere for months and years and eons on end. And so we just kind of um, push it through the funnel and it pops right inside. Um, this part is really fun to do for little kids, and um, they might really enjoy pushing it all, all the way down. Since most of these are just plastic scraps, sometimes you get a big one that can clog the funnel, and so you really need to push it in there. We don't want to fill them up too full. Um, if you fill it up too full, then, you know, he'll, it might distract from the cuteness of his face, but you don't want him completely empty either because then he kind of looks like he's melting. So let's see where we're at here. I think we can put a little bit more in this one. Oops. As we make a mess again, yay. Okay, it's also better than sand. We've done some sand projects and that can be another big mess to clean up. So we're almost full here. Pushing it down, getting the rest of that little bit in there. And tapping the bulb. Okay, and that is probably pretty good. See, it's almost quite full, but not full all the way to the top. If you want it filled all the way to the top, that is your prerogative, but we only liked it about three quarters of the way full. And we won't look at the big mess that we made in my table now. There we go. So when you get it all done, you get it all nice and full, and you have enough of the, the white plastic snow inside your your snowman. We put a little bit more in here as we clean up our table. Um, you can go ahead then and pick out what colors you want to use for your Chanel sticks and for your earmuffs. Um, the puffs often come in a variety pack of colors. We just chose bright blue today, but I know in the packet I had there's pink and orange and yellow and, um, and blue and green. So there was a nice variety of neon bright colors. So pick what you like. 
And then you want to take your, your top and you want to put it back inside. I have seen on some sites where they glued them down. Um, I can see the wisdom of that. If this ever pops out, that makes a big mess. But this kind of bulb is pretty secured because of the spring inside of it. So I think you'll be okay if you choose not to. So then you need to take your Chanel sticks and we picked silver and blue, but you can pick again any color that you like. And you just want to twist them together, which is just twisting them in a simple twist around motion until the whole strand is completely twisted together like this. And then you wanna cut it into about a three to four inch long strip. If you have one Chanel stick, you ought to be able to get two lengths of this out of that. And then you want to measure it on your, your snowman bulb and see where it comes down by laying it over the top and on the sides like so. Whoops, I just lost it. Can you hand it to me, cameraman? Thank you, I appreciate that. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're gonna put a little bit of glue dab at the top here. And that will adhere our Chanel stick to the top of our ball. And then, knowing where this is at, you can put a little drop of glue there and you can push the Chanel stick down on that side. Be very careful not to burn yourself here. And then do the exact same on this side. And again, being very careful not to burn yourself. This glue is hot. And then, you know, you just need to let it sit for a minute or two. And then we're gonna take our pom-pom balls and we're going to glue them right on top of our Chanel stick. And then you just wanna press that on there really, really hard. The pom-pom will pick up some of the hot glue from the Chanel stick also, and it'll act as a continued adherent to try to get this all to stick. We'll do the same on this side. And there you have the earmuffs for your snowman. Isn't that cute? Now we have to pick out our eyes. And in the kits that you're picking, we have given you guys a whole bunch of eyes, and these are the ones that we have here too. So we're gonna take two eyes out. Oops, we're still not sticking on the end. And you just want to um, flip them over and put just a drop of glue on there again. Being careful not to burn yourself. Some hot glue guns I know have got like a cool gun option and those are great when you're working with little kids. I highly recommend those. Um, that way they don't burn themselves if they want help along with this project. I have a high temperature glue gun here though so I would never let my children that are younger um, deal with this glue gun. Okay, so then you wanna glue your eyes right on onto the bulb like that for his face. Now for the nose, if you're at home and you can't pick up a craft kit, you'll have to cut out a nose out of orange construction paper. And we just made a really big triangle like so. And then we're gonna take the edges and fold it over just a little bit. So we have a place for the glue to adhere to. Now you could use Elmer School Glue again for this part, but as long as you've got the glue gun out, it's just as easy to use that. And then we're gonna stick that on right underneath his eyes. And then I kind of bent mine over a little bit because that makes it pop out. And then last but not least, he needs a smile. And you're going to need all your little black dots for this. And this is kind of the tricky part. So again, you're going to want to have someone um, put the glue on here. And we just made a smile with our hot glue gun. And then um, I recommend you can either use a pencil or um, a wet sponge or paper towel um, or if you have fingers like mine that are cows from years of doing this you can very carefully and very gently just adhere these little black dots to the glue but again I don't recommend this unless you've been doing this for a very long time um, otherwise use a like I said a wet sponge or a wet paper towel wrapped around a pencil to pick these up and then you can put them on the glue without burning yourself. I really don't want anybody to get burned here. Okay, and that creates this smile. Isn't that cute? You'll have leftover dots left over probably, so you can make it as um, cluttered or as um, sparse as you like. And if you wanna add more things to your snowman, you certainly can, but this is all that we have in our craft and what we've offered for this kit. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed making our snowmen and our Christmas trees today. These are a fun and easy crafts to do. And join us again next week because we'll be making new crafts to go along with our stories next week. Also, that will also be ornaments. We'll have new ornaments every week for the next three weeks. So we hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks so much. Bye.